Hello and welcome to PTC Express Video Tip of the Month. My name is Leo Green. Today we're going to be talking about the Variable Section Sweep Tool, or just the Sweep Tool, because as you'll see, it can, doesn't need to be variable in section. So let's choose the tool, and let's just pick a, a, a trajectory. Now you'll notice here, in this case, this trajectory does not have tangent edges or tangent uh, ends all the way around. And so if we choose to go right-click sketch, no response no response and that's because for a variable section sweep the trajectory must be tangent throughout but on the options pane you'll see I can toggle it from variable to constant section once done right click sketch I can immediately go to the sketch and what I'll do in this case is I'll just quickly sketch a closed section and you'll see I get a nice preview mitered ends or, or mitered corners and all ready to go. So you can use the sweep tool even though your trajectories are not tangent everywhere. That might be helpful to you. Let's take a look at some of the other options now. You can pick edges in advance. In this case I'll pick one curve holding the shift key down, pick again and some other curves and you see I'll pick then a chain of edges. Go to the sweep tool then it's already selected. Right click, go to the sketch, in this case, I'll just throw in a, a quick circle. And there's my preview. Now, a couple of things I want to draw your attention to. If I'm looking down on the part, you'll see this face is kicked and normal to the trajectory. And if I look at it from the side, you'll see the section is also kicked, looking like it's normal to the trajectory. And indeed, it is normal to the trajectory in this case, because that is the default, normal to a trajectory. But there are two other options. And there's two specific uh, um, quantities I'd like to talk about today. And that one is the section normal plane, and then how the section normal plane is oriented, or the x vector, the direction of the horizontal. Let's take a look at the, the uh, uh, section plane control first. Normal to trajectory is the default. Let's look at normal to projection. If I use the normal to projection and pick a plane, it will redirect all the section planes so that all the section planes are now normal to the chosen plane. So you can see here that this section looks like it's still normal to the trajectory. That's because in this case this curve lies on that plane. Whereas at this end you'll see instead of being radial or fanned out normal to the trajectory the sections are taken always normal to this plane. So this is kind of a combination of normal to trajectory here and normal to the plane here, depending on the plane that you choose. Another option is constant normal direction. In this case, I'll choose the center plane. Now you can see that the section is taken always normal, or in this case, always parallel to the chosen plane. The section normal, then, is, o or is always normal to this plane. Constant normal direction. So those are three options for the uh, the section control. That one does get people confused and I hope that this makes a little more sense to you. Normal to trajectory regardless of the planes. Normal to a projection so that would take the section plane control always normal to a trajectory as if it were projected on this plane and then constant normal direction so that the section plane normal is always normal to the chosen plane. Okay, let's take a look at uh, something else now, a little more complicated. I have a surface here that I'll unhide for us. This is a, a, a surface that's a compound curvature, has curvature in both directions. Let's take a look at some of the options here. If I pick this edge and go to the sweep tool, I can uh, bring that start point around to this side. And if I go straight to the sketch, you'll see I get a, a section plane normal to this trajectory, horizontal vector, vertical vector, section plane normal to this trajectory, and giving me the option then to, uh, to pick up that tangency. I'll just drop a line in real quick. And you see how the line forms an, a nice uh, ribbon surface that picks up the tangency uh, throughout the trajectory. But you'll notice here that it, because of the normal, it doesn't quite go all the way to that plane. Well, 
if I uh, use perhaps one of the other options for the trajectory, I may be able to get it to go there. But uh, let me show you a couple of things that I'd like to do differently. Edit the definition. If I'd like to use perhaps this curve as my first trajectory, and then use this one as my second, it gives me a different option altogether. Watch when I go to this section now. Notice that I now have a reference for the first, but I don't have the tangency picked up for that, uh, for that second trajectory. If I drop a line in now, you'll see that I get a ribbon surface that's always uh, parallel to the, to the plane that the first trajectory is on, and it rides around along that compound complex edge. But if I want to pick up the tangency as well, that's what this box is for, T for tangency. By checking the T there, going back to the sketch, you'll see now I have a new sketch and a new sketch reference, this center line here, allowing me now, let's just remove that horizontal constraint and bring its endpoint to be on that reference, adding a dimension that might be the length of this line now. And now I've got that ribbon surface back, but I've got now a, a section sketch plane that makes a little bit more sense. Well, let's say I want to pick up that section sketch in the middle of the trajectory. I can do so. I've got a point that I put on this uh, trajectory with respect to this plane. Through the options, you'll see the sketch placement point, where I can pick this point and choose. Uh, oh, that point needs to be here. So let's uh, let's put a point on this curve with respect to this plane and then I can use that point it's already selected for me so when I go to my sketch my sketch is now taken here allowing me now to do uh, a sketch let's go to the sketch view square to the part allowing me now to make it a, a sketch and let's say let's say I use um, yeah let's do this let's make a conic section that comes from this point to this point such that we have tangency over there and uh, and some angle at the bottom there. I don't need this center line. Let's bring this maybe to 110 degrees. Now you see I've got a very interesting compound complex shape maintaining the tangency along the top. It's fixed angle at the bottom following the two trajectories normal on coming square to that plane. Let's review. X vector, normal, and tangency for each of your many trajectories. Section plane control, or the section plane, can be normal to the trajectory, normal to a projection of the trajectory, or constant with respect to a chosen plane. Your horizontal vector can also be controlled in a variety of ways. Well, I hope a little of this made sense to you. I've enjoyed sharing with it a little bit today, and I hope that you, uh, you join us again next month as we come up with something else. Um, again, my name is Leo Green, and I hope you've enjoyed this video tip of the month. So long now.